You may be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This is a case of Phillips versus Williamson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Phillips, you claim that you are certain the defendant's deceased son, Philip Daniels, is the father of your three-month-old daughter, a miracle phenomenal Daniels. You say it wasn't until after his tragic passing that Ms. Williamson began to deny her grandchild. Yeah. You believe today's results will prove what you already know, that a miracle is her grandchild. Is correct. that correct? Yes. Ms. Williamson, you claim that the plaintiff is both a liar and a cheat. You say your doubts began the moment your son told you himself that he was not the father, and you are here today to defend his honor. Is that correct? Yes, I am. She, because she knows she's a liar and a cheater. So All she do he, is lie. She lied about everything. Told, what don't you lie ever, about, Rissa? All right. When did he ever tell you? All he right. Hold on. Father? Before I get into the case, Ms. Williamson, I do want to acknowledge that I'm allowing you to wear sunglasses in the courtroom today because you are dealing with an issue, a medical issue with your eyes, and, and that is okay. I just want you to know. Thank you. All right, I want to start with you, Ms. Phillips. Why are today's results so important to you? Tell because the court. Because my daughter needs the death benefits of her father, and she what needs the What death benefits? There's no death benefits. He didn't he have was... a job. So what you're saying is, Ms. Phillips, that your child is in need of support. Yes, and... and... I can support her myself. I have a job. I can but support you, her but myself. But you believe there would be death benefits you, it will be owed to her? It will be death benefits. There's no they death benefits. They mothers don't know what the... What's He's not the father so of your honor. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the paternity question. You say he's not the father. Why don't you believe Miss Phillips' daughter is your son's biological child? Because he said it. He called... When? Uh, she brought another guy to my house. He asked the phone plenty of times where there was another young man on the phone talking when? to him. He was doing the cheating. Oh, it wasn't committed. He then. was, he no was, going, he was no going back and no forth commitment. from... He... All right, so what did he tell you about the relationship? I mean, she was at my house uh, a couple times. She was, she was there or whatever, but he dipped and he dabbed. Okay, but him... I don't let her listen, wait, 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 wait. Let's be clear. Him dipping and dabbing wouldn't, lo wouldn't land us in paternity court regarding this child. Thank you. So while we understand that maybe he was cheating as well, I do want to understand further, Ms. Williamson, why you believe Ms. Phillips may have been dipping and dabbing. Because uh, I was there that time when she had brought a young man to my house and he got very upset. And also, I was there when he sh uh, a young man called her phone and he answered the phone. And they have they was bickering over the phone and stuff like that. So he hung up and she he was asking her like, so who was this guy? And she was like, ain't no guy called my phone. That wasn't no guy. So he went back to the number. She was like, well, I talk to him every now and then. That man was about 40 some years old. What I'm gonna do with that him? That's another lie. 40 years old? You can still that make a baby at 40 lie. years old? Not with him. Beat, beat, beat not back. with him, I wasn't. Not, not at all, you're right. That man was like this tall. What I'm gonna do with a t Short men make babies too. <laughs> what I'm gonna do with him this tall? Nothing. Let me, you, you can still I make a child. Let me tell you that. But face. listen, Miss Williamson, what I wanna understand is you say your son saw Miss Phillips with somebody else. Yes. Tell the court what happened. My son came outside and just got to asking her, like, why would you bring a, uh, another man to my house? She was like, well, I just came over here, do, 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 boop. <laughs> do, 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 boop. <laughs> what is that? It was, it was just like a little conversation. She was saying what she had to say to him, and he was saying what he had to say to her, so... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it was... That's conversation. Yeah. When your son found out Miss Phillips was pregnant, what was his reaction? Did he tell you? Was he happy? Did he immediately say... I'm happy I'm having a baby. This is no, my baby, Mom. You no, know, he was just saying that she's claiming that she's pregnant by him. It's I never took, good when they say claim. When I took... I took the pregnancy test at her house when she was asleep in her... And I took the pregnancy test And you test showed him that's how I found out because you showed him the pregnancy test. And I took it outside test. to him and told him that I was but pregnant. I and what was, was his pregnant. reaction? He was happy. Did the test tell you or did I tell you that you was pregnant? He was happy. You're so hilarious. So, Ms. You Williamson... <laughs> So, Ms. Williamson, you say his response is, she's claiming she's pregnant by me. Right. That's a whole... Hold on. That she That's was a pregnant. whole... That, that, oh, first he didn't even believe she was pregnant. No. When? What does he say to you? He told you that he don't believe that it's, it's his child. When? And why he, did he tell you that? When? Because she'd been dipping and dabbing. When? Did he ever find out for certain if she was with another man or not? No, because I was with him every I'm day. I'm asking the question to Ms. Williamson. Leave a mess. Ms. Williamson. Did he ever find out that she had slept with somebody else? Yeah, because she told him. How can I sleep with somebody else if I'm with him every day? He's... 
Well, you can, trust me. But in you this never said he was a daddy. It, it, it's the thing, Did you ever say that he I wasn't never. the daddy? Did you ever say he wasn't a daddy? I Mr. never said it. I never said he wasn't so the father. I gotta, you, so you never said that he wasn't the daddy? I, I never said you it. You never put this up that he wasn't the daddy? What is that, Miss Williamson? Now, let me you, tell you about Williamson. Williamson. Let That's me tell you. Miss Williamson. What is that? Uh, a so, fake page that they made uh, when you I was say, first I made this page. Jerome, hand me that paper. I made this page for real? Please. You believe Who in your heart that I made this page? If you're one of y'all made Ms. it. Miss Williamson. Believe... Girl, you... So, wait. This is a post from Risa Phillips. <laughs> Little Phil, not my baby daddy. Somebody help me find who my kid's daddy yes, is, please. please. <laughs> and let me say, let me point something out to you, Miss, uh, Your Honor. You see how Phillips is spelled? Why would I go make a fake page and spell my last name wrong? Please tell me that. Please tell me That's why would I go. She put on her status that she don't want me to be his baby mama. Well, I guess don't. what? It's too late. And the baby is already here. It's too late. What's and I don't want to deal with you, and I'm not going to deal you. And you don't have to. Baby, I'm not going to deal with that okay, baby. Okay, that's fine. That's you fair. made me not want to be around your baby. That you is very that. fine. Remember that. And let me you say, me let me say, if you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. This is ridiculous. I don't like her. We can tell that. I don't like her. And we can tell that, too. But guess what? <clears throat> the baby. A miracle. Exactly that's who I'm here is. for. And that's exactly what she is. She because you all can go on and on and on and on about you don't like her and you don't like her. That's obvious to everybody in the room. But what we're trying to find out is, are you a miracle's grandmother? That would never be her grandmother. You well, no, Miss Phillips. <laughs> I hate to tell you, but... I got six if, other if, if, Hold on. That's great. Hold on. You talking about I don't like her and her talking about I don't like her either. That's petty and that's silly because it has nothing to do with a miracle. Nothing. Because she's already here. She's already a living, breathing person. It has nothing to do with it. And we're already at a point where we have a tragedy. She this young man lost his life. Get. This young... Your son has lost his life. If this baby is his... If it is, so now you don't care. She never did. Never did. Say it again. She never time. did. Which, at that first, it was, oh, this my did grandbaby. Did you just say I wasn't This my grandbaby. So this, this, this my grandbaby. Life, you that. Said I now you don't care. What? Baby by period. No, 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 no. But, but hold on. Too many people talking. I want to go back to the fact that Ms. Williamson, are you saying to me, honestly, you know, a lot of the reason why I let you all go back and forth for a moment is because I, I couldn't imagine as a mother being in your position. And I feel for you. I really do. And I know a lot of the hurt and the anger that you feel is because you have endured a tragedy that no mother, no mother would ever want to have to endure. I don't care what she say about you. You don't wish that on your worst enemy. Losing a child, it's all right. Sometimes you just got to take a moment and let the tears fall. Ms. Phillips, take me to the day you gave birth. I didn't even want to give birth to her. Because and why he do you wasn't say there. that? Because he wasn't there. I tried to hold her in there, inside me. I was waiting for him to walk through the doors. I love that man. I always love him. He knew that. If she didn't know it, she knows now. I just want her to know this is her grandchild. You say the day you were in the hospital, you were trying to wait. You didn't want the baby to be born because you really wanted him to be there. Even though I knew he was gone, I was waiting. Because you just had not processed the grief of him being gone. It's, it's st I still have it. Oh, I can tell. Did any of the family members come up? Did any of his family members... His, his brother mother... came after I had her. In the hospital in to the see hospital. a miracle. Yes. He, he held a miracle and looked at a miracle. It's just staring at her like... This is my... Man. Like, this is my brother's baby. You play with your man. That baby don't even look like my son. So you're saying that his brother looked at a miracle and, and said... He was just holding her. Like, him holding her, just sitting there holding her. Didn't want to lift his head up. Like, All right. that, that's, that's telling you, this is my brother. When she first came out, she looked at like him and his brother. All right. Well, I would like to hear from Mr. Daniel's brother. Jerome, will you please escort hey, baby, Daniel like, Randall into the courtroom? Though? That's what that baby looked like. Could be somebody in the audience, baby. 
<laughs> is it your baby? Bring it up to the witness stand. Let's not start clowning again, ladies. Could be your baby. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Mr. Randall. Thank you for joining us. I'd like to say first that I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Um, we're here talking about the paternity as it relates to baby A Miracle. And she says, you looked at the baby and you said, this is my brother's child. Is that in fact true? Um, no, Your Honor. Um, I don't know if that's my brother's baby, but that's why we're here now to get the answers because looks is deceiving. And so at that time, you didn't make a decision as to this is my brother's child or not. No, because my brother had his own doubts in, in his head because of the things that he told me and the things that was sent to him, Your Honor. What was sent to him? What did your brother say? The words that came out of his mouth is he don't know if that, that's his child or not because he had a picture of Larissa naked that he supposed to, she supposed to have sent to somebody else. And, Your Honor, I can tell you about that. He took that picture because he was laying in my bed that day. But wait, his testimony was that you sent that picture to somebody else. How can I send it to somebody else if he took it? Well, I mean, you could. No, I'm saying he <laughs> took the picture, though, in his phone. Because he was phone. in his phone plenty of time. When you in his phone plenty of times, you ain't never no. go through his phone? I went through his... Yeah, I'm going to... But, you but just I'm saying, saying no. did you Get send the picture to somebody else? Oh, never. Why would I send myself, a naked picture of myself to somebody else? But... Mr. Randall, so your brother did have doubts that he expressed to you explicitly that he didn't know if this child was his biological child. Yes, ma'am. But, you know, we all have our doubts, so that's why we're here now. Mama, so baby, So we can Papa get to the bottom baby. of this. So the stakes are very high for this baby. If your son is her biological father, she'll never know him. Yeah. Correct, correct. What are your hopes? Are you hoping that a miracle is your brother's child? If it is his baby, you know, I'm going to be in the baby's life for sure, you know, if Larissa gives me the opportunity to. All right. What are your hopes, Miss Phillips? It ain't no hope. I know. I know it's his baby. It's no hope. I was with this man every day. Like, you can't... You can look. That is... He spit her out. What? 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 He spit her out. Did like... you... Some near it. Girl, look, 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 look. You, you look at my eyes, ma'am. My eyes might be messed up just a little bit, something. But you this can see that. This girl, when I say this little Where? girl sleep just like this man, she sleep just like him. When she, she when I say her attitude and her and mug... And Ms. Williamson, before I go to the results, Ms. Williamson, I want you to have a chance to respond. What are your sincere hopes for today? What are you, what are you feeling in this moment? Nothing. I'm not dealing with Larissa. I'm not gonna deal with her. She won't have... I'm not gonna deal with her. If I got so to... So, let me ask you if, this. If I got to be in that baby life, I'll figure out some other kind of way. But she don't understand it's called grandparents' rights. So, she cannot stop me from being in that baby life if I do want to be in that baby life. I definitely can. It's okay. called grandparent rights. I don't care what All right, called. listen, listen, listen. See what I mean? Guess what? I don't you care. You almost made me say something. Listen, um, let's, not go oh. let's not go there. <laughs> let's not go there. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. After listening to the testimony, I do understand that you all have a contentious relationship. It's not about the baby. It's about this relationship. And that's what paternity issues do. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Dear Lord. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased Philip Daniels, we performed a DNA test with his surviving mother, Toya Williamson. With that being said, the results determined if there is a viable relationship between the child, a miracle, phenomenal, Daniels and Toya Williamson. In the case of Phillips versus Williamson, when it comes to three-month-old, a miracle, phenomenal, Daniels, it has been determined by this court. The percentage of relatedness between a miracle, phenomenal, Daniels and Toya Williamson is 99.8%. I told you. I know exactly hey. who my baby daddy is. I don't care. I'm not in that baby life. I don't want to be in that fun you don't have Listen, life. Listen, hey, we, 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 we're, not, we're not going dark when we just got to the light. It is your grandbaby. What you want Listen, I just want you to understand Take all the drama aside. I don't want you to miss the miracle in the moment. I don't. And I know this is hard. I truly hope in time you will reconsider and be a part of A Miracle's life. She is going to need her village and she's going to need her grandmother. Mr. Randall, I want to give you the opportunity 
to step into her life as you said you were going to. I know, it's emotional for you. I know, honey. I know. Losing your brother and losing your son is, is, that's enough to take anybody over the edge. Everybody in here is hurting on a level. There are no words to describe. And to be honest with you, Mr. Randall, I am so proud of you because you're gonna be the closest thing she'll have to her daddy, and you know that, right? So I ain't got no choice but to make sure his kids are straight because if he was here and I was in his place, he'd do the same. Miss Phillips, you okay, honey? Look at me. You all right? It's just me and him. <laughs> okay. I hope that you will give Miss Williamson some space in this moment and also some grace. I want to help you do that by sending you off to Dr. Jeff now so that you can begin to talk through this, honor your pain, honor your hurt, and most importantly, figure out how to move forward in a more positive way for a miracle. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned.